Black Diamond is a company on three different continents right now that sells their products around the world. One of our guiding principles is that we design products for the sports that we serve. We tend to compete in fairly small niches compared to, say, the auto industry. So when you're making a cramp on or an ice tool or a ski, I mean, the market sizes are much more finite and the market requirements or consumer requirements tend to be much finer detail. We had a common problem, I think, where most organizations face where the data that we were producing was being made in, in several sets of CAD modeling tools. It became a strategy of Black Diamond to try to stabilize onto an up-to-date, modern, and quite powerful design modeling tool. We were modeling a shovel blade, and the shovel blade didn't have any straight lines or parallel surfaces or anything simple. It was all very organic in uh, shape. So one package that we had been using previously was having a very hard time getting that those surfaces to thicken. And when we brought those surfaces into NX, it thickened you know, within just a few seconds and without any errors. So that was a very clear example of how NX was superior to what we were using previously. As we started to implement NX at Black Diamond, the goal was not only to put a more powerful tool in our designers' hands to create things like boot models and ski models, but also stabilize and unify the tools we were using to produce CAD data. NX not only allows us to design what we want, but helps us do it a little bit more quickly and a little bit more efficiently. It doesn't hold us back and gives us the flexibility in design to do what it is that we really want to do. A boundary-free skier wears a free ride boot to hike a mountain far from conventional resorts and then skis down private, pristine slopes. A free ride boot's comfort, flexibility, and functionality for the climb up are as critical as fit, performance, and stability for the ride down. Black Diamond was determined to exceed the quality and performance of European competitors in this sector and found that NX was the ideal tool for their new free ride ski boot project. Black Diamond's been involved in boots for a long time, but we didn't ever start to finish handle the design and engineering and sourcing. It was a big project. This is called an Alpine Touring boot where it has a, a rubber bottom to it. It has a bit of a rocker here, so it's more of a natural striding boot. You're actually using your skis with a skin on the bottom to, um, to go uphill. The boot needs to be lightweight and flexible for that. And an Alpine boot, like an Alpine racer, you want a big, heavy, stiff, burly boot for that kind of activity. And we wanted to bring those two boots together and be kind of in the middle with an Alpine-like skiing performing boot, but a touring freedom boot. One of the biggest challenges with, with doing a ski boot is that the combination of the fit and the uh, performance of the boot. There's no real separation between the two. The requirements are pretty difficult. One of the biggest advantages of NX has been that you can create those surfaces that are really difficult to create, that you can control the fit and the shape, but then you can also use those same surfaces for the engineering tools or the solid modeling. You can't just add a gusset or put on a steel strap or something like that, so the, the, the form really is the function in, in the case of these ski boots. You're always gonna be adjusting for fit but on a big plastic shell like this, a change to the tooling can take months or at a minimum it's weeks. And so if we're also adding weeks and weeks to the modeling end of that, it would be impossible to iterate. Like if we need to make a change, we need to be able to make it really, really quickly. The more familiar I got with the surfacing tools, the more I realized that it's a pretty powerful surfacing package. It's pretty unique to, to have all those surfacing tools and then be able to transition into a solid model. NX is what allows us to basically go from Class A surfaces, which we receive from our industrial design crew, and get all the way into first prototypes and into manufacturing. And being able to make relatively quick adjustments to the shape, but on a large, solid part, is, a, is really the big advantage. And it's 
it's not only faster, but there's a lot of packages where it's not even possible. We built the models in a way that we had constraints around the, the features that didn't change from one size to the next. And things like the last shape and the A surfaces on the outside, it's not just a linear scale that the foot, as your foot gets bigger and smaller, your, um, the relative change of different proportions on your foot are different. And so to take all those into account for the parts of the boot that had to adapt with the foot, and the parts that had to stay constant with respect to the binding or components that were shared from one size to the next. And have those all as associative features in the history of the model where that helped me a lot is that if I set up a model correctly and use the right surfacing tools that down the road if a developer engineer came to me and said we need to pull this whole region out by four millimeters, you know, instead of having to go back in and resurface an entire boot, which takes a long time, I could go in usually pretty quickly and make the adjustments I need to and maintain the proper tangency and the proper aesthetic that we were going for on the boot. We did have a problem in one case with the, the teeth on here were slipping and you know we identified that early on and it was just really easy to make a change here, send the files over, get new parts and the following week be testing testing new data. The Freeride Boot project was completed almost entirely using Siemens software. And the power and flexibility of NX allowed Black Diamond designers to be innovative with the boot design, innovative in their process, and quick to make iterations. The result? A Black Diamond Freeride boot that surpasses the competition. The team is already looking forward to their next product innovation. We're working on the new generation of boots, and so this time around we're doing even more analysis. We're doing even more to optimize the weight and the structure of the boot so that we can make the boots lighter, stronger, higher performance without sacrificing what we've already learned. The more data we have and the more information we have, the, the better we'll be able to use things like uh, finite element analysis to drive our new designs. There are a lot of companies in our industry that are good competitors, but as we continue to grow and implement tools like NX, I think that will give us a competitive advantage over some of those other companies because we'll be working in a way that's much more efficient. We won't be held back by our CAD tools. We'll actually be empowered by them to design products that truly will be able to lead in our market.